This short video outlines the process of installing the Optimizer 2 on various ABB PM substation circuit breakers. The types shown here are the 145 PM 6320 and 169 PM 40-20 built in the mid-1990s. Why add the Optimizer 2 to a new circuit breaker? Today's breakers are so good that only a few measured parameters are needed to gauge their health. Using forecast info, gas refills can be planned when convenient and least costly. Gas emissions from leaking equipment can be recorded remotely and kept separate from handling losses. By assessing gas parameters remotely, the labor of a field inspection will be reduced. Begin by looking at the control cabinet. Look for a space that is easy to get to, easy to run wires to, and close to the terminal block that terminates the bushing CT circuits. Preferably, the Optimizer 2 should be powered by station battery voltage, so that wiring should be accessible also. Some like to see the display through the cabinet window. This is often possible, but check to see that there is clearance so the cabinet door will close before you drill. The ideal way to connect the Optimizer 2 aux A timing input is to connect it in parallel with the trip coil. This gives the best information and will include trip time, travel time, and clearing time, all key indicators of mechanism health. The aux B timing input should be connected to a wetted 52B switch or in parallel with the green light. With some modern protective relay schemes, trip coil monitoring is included. This protective relay function uses a very high impedance connection which can be rendered useless if the optimizer 2 is connected across the trip coil. Even though the impedance of the optimizer 2 is also very high. In this case, a separate trip output can be run from the protective relay that mimics the primary trip output. It should also operate when either trip circuit operates, if there are two. This output should be wetted with DC and a resistor placed in parallel with the optimizer 2, aux A input, to minimize electrical noise. The simplest connection for the aux B input is directly in parallel with the green light. The optimizer 2 calculates primary current values for measurements on the secondary side. This makes it important to know the ratio of the bushing CT circuit you are connecting the pickup coils to. This value is entered into the optimizer 2 as part of the setup process. The third step is to decide how you will connect the gas density sensor to the plumbing of the breaker. The sensor is always 3 8 inch British standard parallel pipe thread. The simplest connection to the PM is to add a T fitting to the copper pipe that run, runs from the gas gauge to the top of the pressure switch. Schedule the, schedule the outage in advance so things go smoothly. If the crew shows up prepared with all the parts, installation generally takes less than two hours. Depending on the vintage and model of circuit breaker, the plumbing can vary. This copper tubing is similar to that used in refrigeration systems. You can work with the piece of tubing that is there or use one from a scrapped breaker. When needed, Dow 111 silicone sealant is recommended for threads. Here, two types of gas sensitivity sensors were installed to compare their response. Mounting the optimizer too is easy. Often it is possible to place it behind the window so it can be seen with the door closed. 
field crews like this. Also, clean up the metal bits before you make gas connections to prevent impurities from getting into the gas system. Standard quarter 20 bolts are ideal for mounting the optimizer 2 enclosure to the control panel. Identify the bushing CT circuits and place the current pickup coils around those conductors. This CT ratio, referred to 1, is programmed into the optimizer 2 when you set it up. Access to the control wiring is at the right side of the control box, as shown. Here, aux A and aux B were connected to terminals 9 and 13. This may not always be the case for all PM types, so check the wiring diagram for details on your specific type. Programming is most easily done at the office before you take it to the field. The Optimizer 2 ships from the factory with a default IP address. Use an Ethernet cable to log into the box using a web browser. Setup is easy. Most parameters are selected from pull-down menus. This part of the screen selects values that measured times are compared to for alarming purposes. This part of the screen sets up the SF6 density parameters. Here, the warning and lockout limits for SF6 gas are entered along with the sensor type. Digital true density sensors are standard with the optimizer 2, but analog temperature compensated pressure sensors giving a 4 to 20 milliamp output can also be used. The Optimizer 2 offers many benefits. It will totalize the lifetime use of SF6, making EPA reporting compliance easy. It will obviate the need for offline circuit breaker testing. First trip information will show any degradation in performance over the years. And it migrates the SF6 system integrity function toward the active and predictive smart grid realm. Thank you. If you have any questions or need more information, please contact Incon Power Reliability Systems at 800-872-3455.